よい全力激しいレッツゴー Hey everybody, what the flick? Alonzo, Bibbs, this is what happens when we don't call each other and say, What are you wearing today? I don't know, what are you wearing today? <laughs>、uh, opening and limited release this weekend is the latest from Japanese、uh, crackpot genius. I don't know what to call him, Sion Sono.、Uh, why don't you play in hell?、Uh, yeah, okay, so Why Don't You Play in Hell、uh, is a movie about a group of independent filmmakers called the Fuck Bombers, and they get wrapped up in a Yakuza plot to make a movie, damn it. Let's take a look. 映画班を作るしかし俺ら映画を撮ってみたいああ撮ってみたいとも見たいよ殴り込みをちゃっかり映画にしようっていうその2私を主役にするそれもかっこいいやいずれにしてもうまくやれなきゃあすいませんシナリオとかあスタートー This is a really intensely entertaining movie, although、yeah. it's crazily violent. Yeah, or, si- or perhaps because it's crazily that's violent. That's Sion Sono for you. It, totally. This yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. if people don't know who Sion Sono is, he is he's this mad genius working out of Japan. He made, like, what was it? How long is Love Exposure? It's, it's like three or four hours. It's like a four hour upskirt panty photography Catholic love story, and the time just flies by. With cross dressing superheroes. Of course.、Uh, so this movie, it, this is almost restrained for him, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 so, yeah, we start out with these kids in high school who are dying to become filmmakers.、Mm-hmm. They befriend a local hood guy and they dress him up like Bruce Lee. Younger viewers will think that they dress him up like Uma Thurman.、Uh, and、uh, then, uh, then, 10 years later, they get enmeshed in this mob war that involves everyone's obsession with a girl who was on a toothpaste commercial.、Mm-hmm. It, it makes sense when you see the movie, I swear、sort、to God,、of. for <laughs> the most part. you know. Sort of. But, like, this whole movie, I mean, this is actually, like, one of the better. Movies about making movies I've seen sure, in a while. Because、yeah, yeah. it captures this mad energy. It's almost like it's like Ed Wood meets a life less ordinary, meets Kill Bill, meets Goodfellas, meets Argo. Like, that's probably the best way I could describe this. It's,、okay. it's just these kids <laughs> running around with cameras and just talking a big game. Like, you know, a lot of people, I think. Yeah, they're, they're, they're dreams of filmmaking and、yeah. they make a trailer, but that's it. You yeah, know? it's like it's, it's all well and good when you're like 18 or 19, but these guys are. Pushing 30 now,、mm. and it's that level of frustration has set in, and they're not sure if they're just doubting themselves or not. And then a series of amazingly contrived but wonderful <laughs> circumstances occurs in which the Yakuza says, We need you to make a movie tonight, <laughs> 35 millimeter, budget is no, is, <laughs> means nothing to us. And they're like, Oh, we'll do that, but we're going to film a lot of people dying. We're fine with that. <laughs> like, that's how desperate they are at this point. And just the level of Ed Woodian energy they bring、mm-hmm. to it, this level of excitement. It's、yeah. just like, I've got an idea. It's going to be great. <laughs> and these, so wonderful. Yeah, these, these crazily choreographed fight sequences that we are seeing being choreographed by the people in、yeah. the film who are making the film. Yeah.、Uh, yeah. They're going to be choreographed by two people who are actually being encouraged to kill each other. Right. <laughs> but we want to choreograph it. That, and they're All, it all makes sense in how they agree. Exactly. It, it, in, the, in the moment, it makes sense. In the moment, it makes sense that the mobsters suddenly become very dedicated to things like sound and rack focus.、Um, yeah, this is a lunatic film. It's、yeah. not his best film. If you can、no. see Love Exposure, that is, I think, still his masterpiece. I, I would argue his masterpiece is Cold Fish.、Uh, oh, it's it's an、one. emotional gunshot to the head. But、uh, this, I will say one thing about this is like, I feel like a lot of the good stuff in this, just to prepare you,、uh, is kind of 
of reserved for like the last third. And a lot of it is build up, and the build up is really, really, really fun. But if you know the setup, as you would learn in any trailer, uh, you might get start getting a little impatient. But I will say, trust me, it pays off, and it's great. Yeah, no, the payoff's amazing, yeah. and there's enough cool stuff along the way that yeah. to, to keep you engaged. It is a little over two hours, but it, I never felt like it dragged. If yeah. you've never seen a Sion Sono film, this would be, I think, a great place to start. Great place to start. So uh, be on the lookout for it near you. Uh, I'm gonna say 9.2. Uh, I, I don't, it's a little high for me. I'm gonna say 8.2, so we can average that out to okay, whatever the hell a, that that's is. That's an 8.7 from yeah, us. Yeah. Uh, I, ooh, God, we, so, it, like, that's a, whatever it is on the tomato. It'll say down there right what here. it is on the tomato right meter. Right here, it's fantastic. We don't know at the moment. But anyway, uh, if it, it, it's in limited release. If it's near you, go see this movie. It will blow your mind. Damn right.